Hi, Kipsters. It is Ms. Hudson, and it is time for your math lesson. Um, today, you will need paper and pencil, and of course, you will need your listening ears and your laser focused eyes. Okay, ready? All right, guys. So, for today, we will be working on making addition sentences using the number bond, okay? We've done this before, but this time we're going to do it with teen numbers. That means numbers 11 through 20, okay? So, we're going to get started. All right, you guys can use your paper and pencil to write these numbers down. I'm going to model for you first what we will be doing, and then you guys will be able to... Um, Follow along the first time, and then you'll be able to uh, work on some problems all by yourself, okay? So, I'm going to start by making the number bond. You guys remember number bonds? So, 13 is in my hole, all right? Now, when I make my part, I have 10, and then I have 3, because we know that 13 is, I'm sorry, we know that 13 is, 10 and three ones, right? All right, so now I can make my number sentence to show that. I can say that 10 plus three equals 13, okay? You guys see that? All right, I'm gonna do another one. All right, this time I'm going to put the number 15 in my hole. All right, and I know that 15 is 10 ones and five ones. So I can put 10 here and I can put five here. Now I can write my number sentence. 10 plus five equals 15. Another way that I can write that is 15 plus, I'm sorry, 15 equals 10 plus Five. Okay, you guys see that? All right, great job. All right, now we're going to do one together. I'm going to need some help. All right, so this time my, num my hole is blank. In my part, I have 10 and then I have 7. I want you guys to take a guess. If I have 10 ones and 7 ones, what number goes in my hole? All right, what do you think? 17. All right, so now we can write our number sentence. 10 plus 7 equals 17. Or we can say 7 plus 10 equals 17. All right, you guys see that? All right, thanks for your help. Now I want you guys to try this one. All right, in my part, I have 10 and I have eight, okay? And I'm gonna start the number sentence for you. 10 plus eight equals, and then I want you guys to figure out what number goes there. So make this number bond on your paper, put in the parts, write the number sentence, You guys may press play, I'm sorry, press pause while you figure it out. And when you're ready, come back and press play. All right, guys, we know that when we count and we say 10 and eight ones, that is the same as 18. So I'm gonna write 18 here. So we know that 10 plus eight equals 18. All right. All right, let's keep it moving. I'm gonna erase everything this time. All right, here's another one. My hole is the number that we're trying to figure out. In my parts, I have 10 over here, I have six. And I'm gonna go ahead and write the number sentence. All right. You guys can press pause and you can try to work this. All right. I'm hoping that you took the time to figure out what 10 ones and six ones um, equals. So we know that 10 
and 6 is the same as 16. Now, friends, if you need help trying to figure out how we put those numbers together, feel free to go back and draw pictures like we used to do, okay? So I can make a 10 frame here, all right? Here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I can make another one, and then counting on, this one is 10, this one will be 6, all right? So let's draw six circles, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we can count them all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay? You guys can always draw circles to help you figure it out. Okay, so now I can complete my number sentence. 10 plus 6 equals 16, or 16 equals 10 plus 6. All right? Let's keep it going. Our next set, hmm, this one is a little bit more challenging. I know you guys can figure it out though. All right, so my number bond is empty. Blank equals 10 plus four. Blank equals 10 plus four. You guys go ahead and press pause and come back and we'll solve it together. All right, I am hoping that you guys took the time to either draw pictures or figure out what numbers go in the number bond. So let's work it together, okay? So we know that we're trying to figure out the whole. The whole is, is empty here. And the parts that we have are 10 and four. So I'm gonna write 10 here and I'm gonna write four here, okay? So let's go ahead and draw some pictures to help us figure this out. So I'm gonna draw my 10 frame. And then another 10 frame. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then this one we need four. So I'm going to write this is 10 and this is four. All right. Four. One, two, three, four. All right. Now we can count to see how many there are all together. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 10 and 4 is 14. 10 ones and 4 ones. So I have 14 equals 10 plus 4. All right, guys, that was very good. You guys know how to do number bonds and you know how to put our um, numbers in parts and in holes. All right, so we're gonna switch it up a little bit and we're just gonna figure out what numbers, what two numbers makes up a whole, okay? So we don't have a number bond here, but we do have the two numbers. Sorry, I'm just putting my top on my marker. Okay, we do have the two numbers. So when I see the number 12 here, there are two numbers that make up 12. 12 is the same as 10 ones and two ones. So I know those are the numbers that I'm going to be looking for. So when I get to number 10 here, I know that 10 is included, right? 10 ones and two ones. Do I need the number six? No way. Number two. So 10 and two is the same as 12. And then I can make a number bond here. 12. 10, 2, okay? All right, moving on to number 11. Number 11, we know that we need a 10 there, right? So I'm gonna circle my 10 first. So we always have a 10 when we're doing T numbers. All right, so now we have to pick between the number one and the number eight. So when I say 11, that's the same as 10 ones and one, right? So we don't need eight, we need one more to make 11, all right? Number 14 here. Well, we know we will always need 10, all right? 10 will always be in our part when we're making whole numbers. Um, so we have 10 and then will we need the four or the two? What do you think? 
I think we will need the four, right? Ten ones and four ones. All right, number 18. All right, circle that 10 because we know we will always have a 10 in our teen numbers. And then we don't need the number one. We need the number eight, okay? Ten ones and eight ones is the same as 18. All right, last but not least, we have the number 10 here. All right, so we know that we need 10, but do we need one? No, that will give us a different number. 10 and zero is the same as 10. All right, friends, so today we made number sentences using our number bond, and we also um, broke apart our 10 numbers um, for our exit ticket, which was a lot of fun. So while you're at home, I want you guys to keep counting, keep practicing, take pictures and videos, and send them to your teachers, okay? See you guys next time.